Hello everyone, I am Elton the W. If you're new to the channel, I am a disabled veteran. I vlog about everything cars, coffee, life. I am lucky enough to own beautiful cars like this 87 Grand National. I vlog about my cars, coffee, and everything in life. My crazy life. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. But right now, today, we're going to talk about the GMC Cyclone and why I had the Grand National out. We'll get to it in a minute. Let's just go for a drive. So a while back, I did a video about this car and bringing back the name Grand National. To me, and I think a lot of enthusiasts out there, and definitely people that own this car, really feel it would be a bad idea to bring back this name. When this car was built, it came out, it was the king. It was one of the fastest cars produced. It was beating a lot of European supercars. It was definitely the fastest American production car out there. And it's something special. It's a piece of history and should be remembered for that. Now, there are names and titles out there like ZL1. In 69, there was a option under Copo, which is now a whole nother car. But under the Copo Central Office Production Order, you can order a ZL1. It was basically a stripped down 69 Camaro with an all aluminum 427. It was never meant to be a street car. Aluminum just wasn't there yet. And it was a race car. It was designed for people to go out there and race. But now, the new ZL1s are phenomenal cars. And the name gave it, you know, the justice. It, it did good for that name. Also, something like the ZR1. In 1990, when the ZR1 came out, it was called King of the Hill Corvette. It was the fastest thing out there. It was like 455 horse, I believe. It was a 32 valve, uh, 5.7 V8. And it was a step the Americans had never taken with the multi cam stuff. And I think that was probably the only ever twin overhead cam V8 engine ever put in a Corvette. And it, it was something special then. Now we have the new ZR1, which is absolutely just phenomenal. That thing is just a beast. And it did the name justice. So here's where I'm getting at. They're bringing back the name Cyclone. It's kind of like, to me, the Grand National. They're two 80s powerhouses that the names should just rest. You know, if they were going to bring back Cyclone, to me, they could have done it a whole lot better. So here's the deal. The Cyclone's based on the GMC uh, Canyon mid-sized pickup. It's 455 horse. It's like a turbocharged V6, 455 horse. Nothing that special. The, the Camaro bone stock's 455. The Cyclone's rated, I think, like 435 foot-pounds of torque, where the Camaro's like 455, 455. It's, it's nothing that uh, phenomenal, spectacular. And the cost is going to be somewhere around 70000 Now, it's going to probably be just like the ZR1 Corvette in 1990. There were people paying upwards of $100,000 for this car because they were limited. They're going to make 100 of these Cyclones, so dealer markups are probably going to be absolutely astronomical. Now, compare that to, like, the Jeep Trackhawk. I've gone online, I've researched, and I found a few brand new on the lot, marked down about $75,000. they are great vehicles, or I've never driven one, but to me the specs, it's great. They're just not a very uh, popular thing, um, so they're, they're not selling very fast. So you can find some pretty good deals. So you figure for about seventy-five, dollars even 80000 you can get a Jeep track off that's 700 horse. Why would you buy the Cyclone? at 455 horse for the same money makes absolutely no sense now if they wanted to bring back the name cyclone take the engine out of possibly the zl1 or it'd probably be i don't know if they could, could or would do it but the zr1 corvette twin turbo charge that make this thing like 800 horse make it towards more power than a uh hellcat I mean, do something. If you're going to bring back a name of a legendary vehicle like that that had so much power, and I think back in 1991 when they made the Cyclone, it, it did 0 to 60 in like 4.3 seconds and like a 13, some 13 to whatever quarter mile. So for 1990, that was uh, pretty dang fast. That was killing it. Anyhow, I think back then the IROC Zs and the Mustang GTs that we 
bump was fast for 225 horse, did zero to 60 in six and a half seconds and like 13 something, what are 14 seconds, quarter miles. Here came the Cyclone doing zero to 60 in like 4.3, two seconds faster than our V8 muscle cars. I can't remember exactly what the Corvette was. I don't imagine it was that much faster. Could be wrong, but anyhow, you know, so the Cyclone came out there and it was extremely fast. It was a name, you know, it's just, it was something special. And now here they come, they just re-bring back a name to try to invoke people's emotions of something that happened back then and try to make it something limited, but it's really nothing special. It's going to be something you could build at home, really. You really, you would have a hard time building a Cyclone. There was so much engineering and reworking to be done to fit a transfer case under a truck that was never designed for it. Unlike the Canyon now, you can get it as a four-wheel drive. The old S15s, S10s were never designed like that, per se. Not, I guess you could get a 4x4, but they were like a, on a whole different frame and chassis setup. So there's more clearance. I mean, you're talking about a truck that was lowered down. This new cycle is not lowered. It's just basically going to be a two-wheel drive. I think you can order the four-wheel drive option, but the Cyclone was like a 65-35 split power to give you all that oomph. It was a performance all-wheel drive setup, something that the new truck is not going to have. It's just a way of GMC to make a crap ton of money uh, just throwing a name on something. I mean, you could go out and buy a Canyon right now, throw a turbo on it, and do the same thing that they're doing. To me, it's just an absolute flop, and it's just kind of a disgrace to bring back a name of such a legendary vehicle and then do that to the truck so anyway that's my take on the new uh, GMC Cyclone to me it's a flop I think they should have just left the name alone they should have came out with something else also yes I know there was also a Typhoon version where they took the SUV version of the uh, Cyclone did the same thing to that so you had the Cyclone and the Typhoon you want to throw that in there real quick before I end the video but that's that's my perspective as an owner of a legendary 80s car like i said i've already made my feelings known one time about bringing back names of legendary cars like that if you're going to do it do it right give that car give that name justice like the zr1 corvette the z01 camaros and i know there's other cars out there i'm just throwing those out there like the gt500 if you're going to do it make them faster make that name proud make give it some hair you know something that's worthy of putting that name back on the vehicle. So that's my thoughts as a car enthusiast, a guy that loves muscle cars and, and just cars in general. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Help a veteran out. Subscribe to the channel. I post weekly vlogs about my cars and life. So hopefully you enjoy that. And we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.